मिसिस कोको लास्ट वीक आई फॉर गॉट टू वॉटर माई प्लांट्स नाउ लुक दे आर ऑल डेड एक्सेप्ट दिस वन वाई डिड इंट दिस वन डाई लाइक दी अदर्स दिस इज अ कैक्टस इट्स अ प्लांट दैट इज यूजली फाउंड इन हॉट एंड ड्राई रीजन्स लाइक डेजर्ट्स बट वट कॉन्ट यू फाइंड इन डेजर्ट्स वॉटर Exactly. In other words, cacti are plants that are found in dry habitats. They can survive with very little water. This is because they have adapted to the place in which they live. This is why your cactus was able to survive one week without water, while your other plants couldn't. The special features that organisms develop to help them survive and function within their habitat are called adaptations. Let's take a closer look using your cactus as an example. Cactus does not have proper leaves like many other plants do. This feature helps reduce water loss because water evaporates from leaves through their stomata. Also, the thick waxy coating on its stem prevents the water inside it from evaporating. When it rains, water is stored inside the swollen stem of the cactus. During water shortages, it uses this stored water to survive. The roots are spread over a large area and are not very deep. This helps cacti to absorb more water when it rains, which it rarely does in the desert. It seems that all its features help it to survive in a place with little water. But what about the sharp thorns? Is that also an adaptation? Yes, the thorns prevent animals from eating the cactus. Let's look at some other examples. Can you name an animal that can survive in the desert for days without water? Camels? Yes, camels are also adapted to deserts. Camels need vegetation and water to survive. Since it is difficult to find vegetation and water in deserts, they have the ability to store food and water in their humps and use over time. This is why they can survive without water and food for several days. Also, there are often sandstorms in deserts. Camels have long eyelashes. that keep sand out of their eyes they can even close their nostrils to keep the sand out of their noses now think about what would happen if a polar bear were brought to a desert oh it would starve a bear doesn't have humps to store food it would also feel hot there because of all its fur exactly This is because polar bears are adapted to cold polar regions. They have thick skin and fur that keeps them warm and would feel hot in deserts, just like we would if we wore sweaters in the summer. Also, walking on ice is very difficult as ice is very slippery. But polar bears are adapted to walk and run on ice. They have sharp claws that give them a grip on the ice. They also have big feet that prevent them from sinking into the snow. Here is a fun fact. A chameleon is an animal that changes its color to that of its surroundings. This adaptation acts as camouflage, enabling the chameleon to blend in with its surroundings to hide from predators. But adaptations are not limited to land animals only. What would happen if you took a fish out of water? It would die. That's right. Fish can't live on land. They have special features that enable them to live in water. How do you think fish breathe without having a nose? Through their mouths? I breathe through my mouth sometimes. No. Fish breathe through their gills. They take water into their mouths and force it out through their gills. As water moves through the gills, oxygen in the water is absorbed and carbon dioxide is released into the water. Fish also have streamlined bodies that enable them to swim. But we don't have gills, 
so we can't survive in water. This is because we have adapted to living on land. Well done, Spikey. Let's summarize what we have learned today. The special features that organisms develop to help them to survive and function better in their habitat are called adaptations. Animals and plants adapt to their habitats differently.